Too late, adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel to a new BitTorrent video. Right now, 1.48% uh, in green. It's in green, so it's something, right? But you can see here, it's been bleeding forever right now. And the question is, what's actually happening right now? Will this not go up? You know, are we bullish? Are we bearish? So we're gonna talk about it. We're also gonna talk about uh, uh, why it's not stopping, why it's going down, where the next support are, what can happen, and stuff like that. Before we start, there have been people uh, asking me why I'm not making BitTorrent videos. Can you make BitTorrent videos? Why I'm not keeping us updated? The thing is, on YouTube, I can make like ten video stops in if I'm in good mood, you know, and then I make probably a BitTorrent video. But usually I make around six videos, and if I'm not feeling well, you'll see that. I only make like three four videos uh, during the day and then I have to pick videos that are performing well that people want to watch right and that means XRP Cardano Ethereum classic right now uh, and stuff like that so if you want this video to be popular to me for me to make more BitTorrent updates uh, hit the like button not because of me but because of YouTube because YouTube likes when people hit the like button then they share video I get more views I get more subscribers uh, you know I see the video performing well and I continue you making videos because I want to make videos that are performing well whether that's BitTorrent or XRP really doesn't matter to me but because I cannot make 2000 videos a day about every single coin that said that said I got nothing against BitTorrent I like BitTorrent I like the technology I you know when I was a kid I used BitTorrent as well uh, that said let's see what's actually happening let's get in the charts to see what's happening with BitTorrent so I will continue making BitTorrent videos if my BitTorrent videos are performing well, right. That said, we can start by trying some trend lines on the chart just to see what has been happening so far. First of all, uh, we broke this trend line up here when we started going parabolic because this was a parabolic move over here. We broke the parabola down here and we got out, right? So this is the first move that actually happened, we got out. Then we had some kind of other uh, support lines down here especially. Uh, where was it? Uh, somewhere around here, give or take, yeah, maybe down here, something like this. You can see clearly that it's hitting this uh, uh, holding support nicely, holding support, and then this wick down here to the support. Uh, we wink down and then we broke the support down here. So we broke this support as well, right? So we are going further on and we are looking for where this can go. And there was, uh, there, uh, I think there was even one very nice... Uh, Support here, maybe it was this here, yeah. So it's hitting these uh, tops here, these bottoms down here, this week over here, and you can see here clearly that uh, that we have been holding it as a support, and now we are breaking even that. So all like right now, all the supports are getting broken. So what's actually happening? We have one more uh, support that I actually think it's important. I mean, there are a lot of supports, but uh, these trend line supports, and this is a big one. This from the weekly chart, and it goes something like this goes from here here because it hits this top you know nicely important top these tops this week down here and right now we're looking for support there and that support is also corresponding to certain uh, to certain um, moving averages that we'll see on the daily chart if we pop the moving averages this is the 10 20 50 100 and 200 moving average uh, and you can see here the blue one the 100 moving average is actually in the ballpark area of the line so whether the line is actually uh, uh, exactly correct or not, it, it tells us that right now around uh, 45 or something like that, we got some kind of support. Whether the support is going to hold or not, we don't know that. There is no certainties in technical analysis. We don't know if it is going to go here and go up, if it is going to go break it and go to the downside. There are no certainties. Now, before we actually were all the way above this 50 moving average, we were quite bullish. Now we are getting a little bit bearish because we are breaking the 50 moving average. Uh, even though we popped on down here and was going downwards, getting hitting the 50 moving average is nothing wrong. You can go and look at the price of Cardano. Let, we can do that. Let's see Cardano's uh, price, how it actually happened. You can see Cardano over here. Cardano was fall, even when Cardano went up, it was falling sideways, hit the 50 moving average on the daily chart, started going back up, right, and then fell through, found some kind of support and then continued climbing up. Can this happen with uh, BitTorrent? Yeah, sure, why not? But you cannot assume things just because uh, you want to assume. We have to be realistic about things, about what's happening. And we broke on the downside of the 50 moving average. 
so we are hoping we can get support on the 100 moving average but whether we will get support or not it depends so I'm, what i'm thinking is going to happen that we might actually get support on the 100 moving average and this 10 moving average and 20 and 50 moving average will come for us so if we can make we need to break all of these three moving averages one after another if we're gonna uh, become bullish again now here comes the problem and they, this is not actually a BitTorrent problem is Bitcoin problem uh, Bitcoin kind of finished the move to the upside a lot sooner than we actually thought now whether we are in the bear market or not I'm not gonna speculate that, uh, that whether that's a white white cough uh, a distribution that's happened or not i'm not going to speculate on that because i'm not very good at market cycles and uh, how the price should move uh, during uptrend so i can definitely see that this can continue on to the upside but being technical analysis i'm a realist and i'm just looking at the next move that's going to happen so i can tell you what i think probably going to happen around here but what's going to happen up uh, in the next part it's very very hard for me to figure it out because i know like here we already see what's happening where next support and resistance line but over here is like just dark area and people are always asking me what you think is the gonna be the price for uh bit torrent in september or something like that and i i'm like i have no clue what's gonna happen here no clue zero zero clue that's why i'm never speculating on long-term uh trends i'm never speculating on what might happen i always say assumptions are terrible for technical analysis so we never want to assume things we can assume short-term things what's probable it's not and then take action based on those things but we cannot assume things so right now what actually is probable is that we get some kind of support down here right now we are getting pushed by the 10 and 20 and uh, uh, 10 and 20 and 50 moving average uh, to the downside so so it's probable that we might actually get some kind of support and some kind of bounce out of the, this moving average will it actually break on the upside and continue going up uh, that depends the see if you want to see a big uptrend you have to get above the 50 moving average right now 50 moving average is sitting here at uh, 0 0.072 you have to get above this line if you don't get above this line like and there are a lot of resistances on the way up over here this was a big thing uh, on the way down you can see here we had uh, we had two very important resistances first one was uh let's uh, we can remove the 73 line first one was this blue line uh, that was going over here you can see here the price was holding it then broke it and you can see holding made a new support down here and it was again uh, going zigzag between those two uh two support and resistance lines and here it broke it on the upside but it failed to break it and got pushed back down to the support but support broke it and this is a retest of the support and right now we are going down so i'm looking uh, to, for this line for the 200 moving average to give us new support and our next try on the moving averages so whether we're gonna go up or go or not it's very hard to see it all depends on what bitcoin does because if bitcoins continues bleeding down i must i'm i'm saying assumptions are bad but if you assume that bitcoin is bleeding down uh then we might assume also that this is gonna uh, uh, go bleed down so do be careful or uh, and always watch what bitcoin is doing you can come check my bitcoin videos uh, first thing in the morning i do bitcoin uh, videos daily is on this channel and we're gonna see that but to be bullish we have to get above 0 0.73 there is no way around it you gotta get a back above it you can get some kind of hope uh, if you get above 10 and 20 moving average actually the 20 moving average would, would be the first best thing to get above uh, because 20 moving average is the one that's actually pushing the price down and that's not uh, the, uh, the 50 moving average so if you want to stop the pushing down of the price we have to get above the 20 moving average let's see what's happening uh, before we end this let's see what's happening on the small time frames uh, all right now we are let's see the there might be some kind of divergence happening here on the four hourly chart the price is technically going down price is going down while the RSI is going up so some kind of a pullback might actually come very soon over here on the small time frame now how big this pullback is gonna be will we actually get above the 73 will we will we only go to the 50 moving average that's the yellow line and get rejected there it's very hard to say what's gonna happen 
but the pullback is actually in the books right now because we are get, uh, we're getting these lows, uh, lower lows uh, because this is a low, this is a lower low and we are getting this uh, low and higher low, right? So the price is going down, the RSI is going up, the pullback should come very soon uh, and if it doesn't come today, it also depends on what a little bit but, but about what Bitcoin is going to do because you also have to understand that although we have divergence in a strong downtrend, when something is pulling you down, all of these uh, kind of things gets broken and don't play out the way they should play out. But right now, on the 4 hourly, there is a divergence. Uh, we might actually uh, start climbing the, uh, uh, above the 10 and 20 and even go to, uh, for the 50 moving average. And if you do that, like there is a chance we might uh, get uh, to the 10 and maybe even to the 20 moving average. But right now, it's a fight against, against the clock or a fight against the Bitcoin. Whatever the Bitcoin does, it's going to affect us. And we're going to see what's actually going to happen. Unfortunately, not uh, the best of news, like, you know. It's been bleeding forever. I had, I didn't actually think that the bull market can finish this soon because if I did that, then I would probably already say that this is a, uh, a terrible uh, downtrend. But Bitcoin didn't do that. Like Bitcoin showed us all signs of bullishness, you know, all the way to the last end. And first then it like was like, okay, we're going down. So what's going to happen next is hard to tell guys, it's very hard to tell. It has a little bit of chance to get up here, but if I see, if you see it like getting rejected by the 10 and 20 on the daily or getting rejected by the 50 uh, uh, moving average on the on the 4 hourly chart, uh, then you might expect actually to see this uh, 100 um, moving average and the, uh, the support down here being hit. And if that's get hit, like you, you can hope it's going to hold, but if it starts breaking down, uh, it, it can be bad because after that we have some other other supports down here at uh, That's actually exactly our, where this line over is the 20 moving average on the weekly time frame and this uh, here at 0 0.036 so you know it's a it's a game of uh, Catch the mouse or something like that. I don't know anyways I don't know if you enjoyed that, but that's that. Uh, we're gonna see how this video performs and we're gonna see if you're gonna continue doing bit turned up this. Because you also have to understand when things are in downtrend, people are really not that excited about it. So I have to make videos that people are excited about, that means that things go up. So right now XRP, uh, Cardano, uh, also things that haven't, uh, even, even Ethereum Classic is making some kind of moves towards the upside. So you know, I, I'm choosing videos based on how they are performing, not actually if you know, if I'm liking, but I'm I'm biased when I do take analysis. I don't hold any uh, BitTorrent. I don't hold any XRP or Cardano. So I'm unbiased, and I'm just telling you what I'm seeing on the charts. That said, if you want to see more videos, subscribe and click the like button. Check the links down below. You know, enjoy. See you around, guys. Bye bye.